Should I, what should we call this? Um. Did you know that the average income in Park City is $50,000? And the average income in Magna West Valley is $17,000? That's nearly a $33,000 difference. Well, if you ask me, that's a pretty big difference in income. The school districts get their money from property tax. The property tax, uh, the more expensive your property is, the more taxes you have to pay on it. So therefore, the rich people who have more expensive things pay more money, which means they have a better school. Okay, we drew a diagram for this. This is the expensive guy's house. You see, it's been nice and big. This is family. This little kid goes to uh, better than you high school here. And they pay a lot of money because they have a big house. Where, on the other hand, their butler, who doesn't get a lot of money, has a little tiny house, which doesn't pay a lot of property tax, which goes to, we can't afford this high school. And that's how property tax works, and why the system is so screwed up. Park City has an 82.2% graduation rate, whereas Hunter has a 64.2%, and Cypress has a 60.4% graduation rate. Is there something up? The salary in the Park City School District is around $38,000, whereas the starting salary in the Granite School District is $33,000. That's a $5,000 difference in the starting uh, salary. Coincidence? I think not. The student-teacher ratio at Cypress High School is 24 to 1. That's not very good. Park City High School is the current holder of the Utah State AP Award, making it the number one high school in the state of Utah. It also has 23 plus AP courses and was also named number one by KSL. In 2011, Park City was named one of the best 200 high schools in the United States by the Daily Beast, a website published by the News Weekly magazine. They have gone to integrate technology into their system, giving each one of their students a, a private laptop for their own use. Um, these are Apple MacBook Airs, and they are issued to each student. Cypress and Hunter High School have no personal laptops or one-to-one -one computer programs. Instead, they have very few computer labs and not up-to-date computers in those labs. Was that very fair? I don't think so. Me golfing on the football field makes about as much sense as the public school system's distribution of wealth. All right, does anybody have any ideas on how to fix the system? We can distribute the wealth equally. Yeah. Are there any other ideas? We could just not go to school. Oh yeah, maybe. Not go to school? Really? <laughs> we could all go to private school. We could just have private school for everybody. <laughs> YOLO! Yeah. YOLO is not an answer. No. The word of the Lord. Well, for this project, we have to decide what the church would take a stand on. So, we're going to say that they would probably say we need equal distribution of wealth for everybody. Because that's just what the church believes in, is equality. They're like, America, but God in one. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So, that's, that's what the church would say.